beginner laser project number 12. Creating a template when you're doing multiple items. I'm going to show you how to do it. It's not hard. Coming up. Hi, I'm Roger. Welcome to the shop. And I have kind of an unusual off-season order here. This is something we usually sell in the late summer and fall. And I got a large order for a bunch of these to ship here in February. So I thought this would be a good time to uh, show how to make a template for when you're making multiple items and doing it repeatedly. Uh, and a good example would be uh, if you're making slate coasters or tile coasters and there will be uh, a link to a download to, of those templates in the description that you can have for no charge. You can download from our website. And they'll be set up for a 400 by 400 millimeter minimum size laser bed. And you can do either nine slate coasters or nine towel coasters with these free templates. We'll get you started. But I'm also going to take you to the computer here and show you how to get one of these laid out and make your own custom size. It's not hard. Okay, so how do you make one of these templates? Here's what I'm going to be using. We're going to start new. I'll show you how to do this. Not too tough. So we'll start with a blank slate there. And you're going to do something square, let's say. So you just come up here and make yourself square. And unlock your lock. Make it what size you want. Let's say we want a 4 inch by 4 inch. Here's our 4 inch square. I'll relock that lock up here. The arrow, we go down here, make that T1. That's now a tool path. So, what I like to do next then is I'm going to have rep repeated ones of these. Is I'll first put this here in the middle, get that right in the center because I, I work from absolute coordinates. Uh, my lasers have limit switches. If yours does it and you need to work from center, you can do that from work from current position. Just set your laser to center when you get started. Okay, so there's one. I'll highlight that again. I'll do Control C. And then I'll do Control V, which is a copy and paste. Put him right next to that there. Then I'll do another one. Right next to there. Now I'll highlight the whole thing. I'll go up here and make sure everything's aligned on the top. And it is. Now I'm going to group this set of tool paths here. Oh, something else you can do to make sure you're right next to each other is blow this up. You can see I'm a little off on the one over here. So I need to highlight just that one and scooch it over just a hair. I'll go back down here and make sure I'm aligned across the top. And now I'll group those. And I'll select the whole thing again. Do a control C, then control V, it makes me another set of them. And they'll all stick together. And you can line them up. And I'll do that one more time. Another paste. Set another set up here at the top. Thing line there and a little bit off on one side. So I'm gonna, whoop, I'm gonna highlight everything here. And line on the left side. And I'll go back here and make sure that's in the center. It's cold in here, so I'm shivering a little bit. Now, I'll take this whole group, and I will group that. So now that'll all stick together as one, and you can put your graphics inside the uh, little squares as you like. Or another option is... Uh, you could, once you get one laid out, you can save it. I'll open up one here. I will save this first. We'll call this a 4-inch template. 4.0. I'll open one up here that's uh, set up with palm trees in it. So here is the uh, template I use for, this is one of the types of coasters we make. And uh, there's your settings right there. Uh, it's an image, 1,000 millimeters per minute, 70% power. It's with 10-watt laser. It's using the Nicky Norton white tile method. Uh, check out one of my other videos here, a uh, recent one I did on how to engrave on ceramic tile, and that's how I make these. So what if what you want to do is round coasters, and you've got something round you want to do? Well, 
here's the way I do it. Start a new file here. Let's say you got a four inch round. Well, I still start out with a square. I'll make that four inches. Now, oop, now we're going to do a circle. We'll make that four inches. Then we want to take this circle and put it inside that square. The easiest way to do that then, I, I got pretty good there, lucky at that. You go up, hit this little bullseye, that'll center everything right there. And then I will group that. If you're burning this onto a, a board, let's say uh, you have all of these made together, and you want to actually burn a grid for this, you can just take this and uh, turn it into a grave a line. Uh, you'd want a line here, not fill. So you want to make that a line. And then after you engrave that on your layout grid under your laser, change this back to the toolpath. And you can copy and paste and make as many of these as you like. It's a lot easier to line up square things than it is round things. That's why I make my tool paths like this, and I would put my graphic in the center of this. Uh, for example, let's see, bring something in here of some kind. So we want to put a shamrock in there. Actually, I'm going to show you a little trick here. If you get a graphic like this, you want to do something else with. Trace that image. And that delete it deletes your original image. And I'll turn this into a line engrave here. Set this in the middle of that. And there we need to resize that a little bit. 0.75. Highlight this whole thing. Center. Now we're centered up. Well, that's a little big for that. There we go. That would put a shamrock in the center, for example. Just uh, show you an example of something you can do. But that's all there is to it. So, see, it's not all that tough. Just takes a little bit of patience, and uh, you make those tool paths and group them together, and then you can uh, put your graphics into those squares, and you can save it as one. In fact, I'll include one here with all the palm trees in it. If you want to decide you want to make some... Uh, tile coasters with palm trees on them because I just came from where there was palm trees and it was warm there Not like it is here because right now it is four below zero Fahrenheit So I got a jacket on in the shop. I actually have an electric heater running down here by my feet So it's a little cool in here today So what am I doing here? Well on the back of these these are actually called candy boards and they're for beekeeping and We trademark the back of them on the inside like this so I run these five at a time. If I use my uh, extended X-Tool D1 over there, I can do a whole lot more than that. But for here, we're just gonna do five at a time. I'm using your Tura Laser Master 3 for this. And I'll show you how I get these laid out on here. So here's how I get these laid out. Um, you could actually burn a grid for these if you wanted to. You just change your tool paths into a uh, engrave and an actually engrave a grid if you're going to be doing the same thing repeatedly repeatedly um, I'm not going to do that with this laser I do have one other laser set up that way though but I work from center here and I already know where, where my marks are for this because I've done a whole bunch of these and I just set my pieces in I start with the center one and then I just line them up And if I wanted to, I could probably get one more on here if I want to move my template around. But the template I have is set up for one of my other lasers, and I'm going to leave it as is. So I just get her all set up there like so. And I'll have to get my focus. Well, my focus is set. You turn my air assist on. That reduces scorching. And we'll get this started. Well, as you can see, it's doing all the fill first, and you know, then it'll come back and do the line engrave for my little eagle. And I usually just start this and go do something else and just let it run. And when it's done, I'll come back and I'll reload it again. Uh, it doesn't really take all that long to run these, but I don't need to stand here and watch it either. Because it'll move from one to the, 
the next just as it's laid out in my uh, toolpath boxes. So here's what this file I'm running looks like and as I said here I could set this up for a whole lot more on my uh, XTool D1 but for here we'll just use this. Uh, this here is a, a set to fill. This is just a line engrave over here and the uh, orange here again that's my toolpath as we I showed where you set up for whatever custom thing you're doing. And once it finishes all the fill, it'll come back and do the line engraves. Well, there was just a little demonstration on how this works and how you can do re repetitive uh, parts and repetitive projects. Um, here I'm doing the logos for um, one of the things we sell. I also have layouts like this I do with slate coasters and towel coasters. And again, you can download that. Um, there'll be a link in the description where you can go to download those files, set up in Lightburn. And you have a template for ceramic tiles, and you have a, a template for slate coasters, and you'll have a template for ceramic tiles with foam trees in them, should you decide you want to make a little batch of those. So if you got anything out of this, appreciate getting a thumbs up, always helps the channel. Roger in the shop. Thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.